What's going on guys, it's Craig for Tech360. Today we're gonna to talk about an old light that I have, the Chave Lighthouse. All right guys, first and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and let's get into it. So this is the Chave Lighthouse. Now, this is an older light. Uh, I've had this light for quite some time. Uh, for any old DJs out there, or light gurus, you know about this light. Uh, this was a light if I took a guess, I'd say it came out probably in the mid '90s. I would say because I remember in an uh, in intermediate school, fifth and sixth grade, uh, reading old uh, Pro Sound Stage lighting magazines, and this light was in there. And it was it was basically like the new best cool light. I just thought it was cool, just square, all the lenses and stuff. I thought it was just just a cool looking light, and I always wanted it. So about maybe. 10 or 11 years ago, I found a guy on eBay who had one and I bought it. I think I gave probably 80 bucks for it maybe and he shipped it to me. Man, surprisingly, it was in perfect shape. Uh, the one thing is it does have one broke lens. I don't know if it happened during shipping or what, but it's been broke since I've had it. Let's uh, let's take a little look at it. I'll show you guys this thing. So it's basically, you know, it's got all these lenses on the front. They are actually glass. They're not little plastic cheap lenses. There's a side, you got some vent louvers on the side. Another, uh, this is also, this is a vent slash uh, light bulb access. The uh, light bulbs and the motor and stuff's all right in here. And you got the fan. You've got a uh, voltage selector, I guess depending on where you're at. Uh, you got your microphone and you got your sensitivity knob for the music because this thing does run on music. It's not DMX at all, uh, so you can't link it. I don't know if that was even available back then. I honestly don't know. Um, it may not have been. But uh, I think I have a video clip. It's from a different time when I uh, did a video of this light. I'm gonna put it on here, kind of show you what's on the inside. All right, now that we got the cover set aside, let's take a look in here. So you got a bulb here. You don't want to necessarily touch the bulb. I'll touch a little metal frame. And all it is is basically two bulbs that just, that just basically just spin around. And it's got this goofy little lens that kind of spins freely with it. And they can kind of look and tell they're different colors. And it's not its not like it's broke or anything. It's just how it's supposed to be. Look at the front. It's got kind of like a little spring up there. See that? So it's just it's supposed to spin freely like that. And just old brush motors. Uh, old dusty fan back there. Let's see if I can... See if I can get in on that so in case anybody needs part numbers off of something. If anybody needs parts, and there's a part number off the fan. <laughs> so, like I said, it's all it is, and let's uh, put this cover back on and uh, plug her up. All right, so that's pretty much all it is on the inside. It's just two bulbs that just, it basically just spin, and it's got a free wheel, free spinning color wheel in it that spins as well. So the lights are spinning, and when the lights stop, this wheel keeps spinning until it stops. So it's just, the wheel's constantly going one way or the other. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in and shine it up here and see what, it, what she does. Alright guys, so that's it. So uh, this is the light. Uh, so it is sound sensitive, you know. So it goes with the beat of the music, stuff like that. Now I will say, this thing does get pretty hot. It's, it's pretty warm and just this, this time right here, that's all it's been running. And this sucker's hot. Um, like I, I was holding it when I was holding it, showing you guys, it was burning the top of my hand and, uh, or burning the palm of my hand. So. It does get warm and these older lights are kind of cool because you just don't find them anymore. Um, you know, they don't make them like they used to. Now, the only other drawback of these things is that they do draw a lot of power. Um, so that was a struggle when I really got into DJ and running lights and such. Uh, that was a struggle that I had because these older lights draw a lot of power or drew a lot of power. And 
you know, and when you go to hook up to somebody's house as a standard breaker, you know, it's 10, maybe 15 amps. Well, when you got a bunch of these on a rack, you know, on a big stand running all at one time, you're gonna start throwing breakers in these people's houses. So you had to kind of pick and choose which ones to run at which time you couldn't, most of the time you couldn't run them all at one time, plus a fog machine. Fog machines will really kill your breakers. Um, I have a uh, Chave Flex, I think is what it's called. It's uh, one that moves and stuff like that. I can do a review on that if you guys want one as well. Um, but that's it guys, that is the Chave Lighthouse. Um, that sucker is hot, I need to get it unplugged, but that's it. I hope you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe. If you got any questions or comments, comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you guys. Thank you.